temperatures back on tonight, but parts of Oconee County are still under a boil water advisory after rain and flooding washed out a road and broke a water main. Thanks to the help of the local agencies, a repair that could have gone on for days took just a matter of hours. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown is joining us from Oconee County tonight with the update. This is Highway 123 in Oconee County. I'm standing on one side of this massive hole. My photographer Jason is on the other. Crews are estimating the damage and looking for a way to repair all of this. Now, the people who live on this side of the hole, they actually didn't have water, but just for a few hours. A look from the sky from our 7 News drone shows the length, width, and sheer depth of this road washed out in Oconee County. Officials say rain and water buildup pushed the dirt and ultimately the road away. Almost 400 feet of water line collapsed due to the complete uh, failure of the field on Highway 123 near Singleton Road. It cut off water service for nearly 300 customers. Hours later, Carter says he breathes a sigh of relief that it only took hours rather than days to restore the water to those customers thanks to Oconee County and a contractor with local ties. Those two contributions made it possible from what we thought might be a four-day outage to less than 48 hours. According to Carter, officials were already working on an alternate water line before the force of the water over the weekend washed out the road and broke the water pipe. Now officials are trying to figure out just how to cover those extra costs. You know, sometimes you just have to worry about costs as a second-hand consideration when you have that kind of inconvenience going on. Hardship. On Monday at this blow off point, water treatment facility manager Diana Denny is taking samples of the water and applying three tests. Well, it has to be zero uh, chlorofolliforms, which is the bacteria, zero. Um, it has to have a pH of about 7, 7.5, and um, chlorine, we like to have a residual of uh, at minimum of 0.2. But the second round of tests will happen on Tuesday. Again, we're here in Oconee County, and officials testing the water say that those samples and the testing results won't be available for a few days. Reporting in Oconee County, Kimberly Brown, 7 News.